Right, so this is the first proper test of the soldering oven. Um, got the board in there with the thermocouple, and I'm going to switch it on the wall now. Uh, we've got it set to stay on here, and we'll just reset the Arduino. There's a reset, time at one, target, so you see it's below target, just as soon as it hits it. Target's higher, so turn the oven on. That green light shows it's calling for heat. And then we can see the elements at the bottom there warming up. We've got a before picture of the IC, so you can see it sat on the uh, solder paste. And that's just a matter of waiting. Um, watching the target temperature going up, and obviously the, the actual temperature going up. Um, there's a build log of this on the forums. Uh, you can see here we've got the uh, AD595AQ. Um, that's the thermocouple amp. And I see the light's just gone off, so our actual temperature is a bit higher than the target temperature. Um, this is actually moving a lot faster now um, because I took out this tray, which would have been blocking the heat from the bottom and reflecting it back. Um, so it's actually switching off and on a lot, a lot more frequently than it was. Um, yeah, so the AD595 um, thermocouple amp takes signal from the thermocouple, uh, reads it back to the Arduino. I'm just using an Arduino SMD, uh, a bit cheaper than the standard. <coughs> and of course, available for a very reasonable price at phenoptics.com. Uh, now we can see again the temperature with light flashing on and off as we're controlling the temperature very neatly, very close to the curve. Target 36, temp 37, so it switches off, 38. Brilliant. Really, really close tracking. Uh, so we're nearly two minutes in now. Uh, board looks approximately the same as you'd expect. Um, temperature is still only 150. Uh, we're heading for 220, yeah, for 220, which will actually um, melt the solder and uh, and reflow the chip. Uh, just running the Arduino off a battery currently. Um, probably work something in so we can actually run it off of the um, the power to the oven. So you only have to plug in one thing. We attach the Arduino to the wall as well. Sorry, wall of the oven. Uh, so again, so it's just nice, nice and self, self-contained, and um, maybe at a push, put in a, a thermal cutoff for the oven because currently, if the uh, if you leave the thermocouple outside of the oven door, um, it will continue to heat the oven until the temperature outside of the oven reaches 220 degrees, which probably could be quite, quite catastrophic for the office and our stock. Uh, still ramping up. In the actual oven itself, there you go, is a fairly bog standard toaster oven. Comes in at $29.99 from Argos in the UK. It's actually that the Argos value range mini oven. So we need to search for and on the receipt it'll tell you it's the AVR mini oven, which is kind of appropriate considering it's been run from an Apple AVR chip. Up to around 180 now. Well, as you can clearly see before I even said that. Um, uh, what we did to uh, make the oven really was take out the um, the thermal switch, which was behind this temperature gauge. Um, we just removed that entirely. It was held in with a couple of screws and um, spade clips. Uh, the spade clips, fortunately, clipped straight onto a. Um, to a relay that we used um, and that is an optical relay so that switches switches the mains directly um, switches 230 volts AC um, optically from uh, the 5 volts given out by the Arduino so that literally as, as that light turns on and off it switches the relay on and off which clearly switches the elements on and off I mean you can see them just pulsing there just to maintain the temperature. 
coming up to the magic temp now, 220. And slightly above. I did tweak the temperature just beforehand. Um, I actually tweaked it before taking out the tray, so we have overshot there by 4 degrees. Um, now as the temperature is dropping, to help the temperature drop faster, we'll open the oven door. Might be worth displaying that on the uh, LCD. Perhaps even a fan assist would be quite handy here. So yeah, the target's now zero. Basically the program's over. And we're just now waiting to see if our board has in fact soldered. Uh, we'll take a picture on the microscope um, to see if it's actually soldered. You can quite clearly smell the flux. I might reach in with a set of tweezers. Maybe the board's only 160. What could possibly go wrong? Now I'm only looking at this through the camera. Doesn't look particularly shiny. So I'm wondering if this has actually worked. Let's see, we'll have a look under the microscope shortly. 